And now we'll start adding inputs to our workflow by adding an inputs section under our workflow dispatch config. Within this input sections, we can then define the names of inputs we want to accept from the user when starting this workflow. Here we'll create an input named environment. This input will represent a backend environment that we want to deploy to. For any defined input, we can add things like a description or whether or not the input is required. In this case, we will write a simple description indicating that this input is the environment to deploy to. We will mark it as required and we will populate a default value of production.